Hey guys, this is Buster O'Shea with a happy medium. Today I am going to show you how I uh, ramp slow mo tricks in After Effects. This is how I've just been doing it since day one, from what I found out online myself. And there could be a better way to do this. This is what I have found to give me the best results for using a VX1000. Okay, so today I'm gonna use my all-time favorite trick I've ever filmed. Let's let's do this one because it's a legend. John Mata Varial Heel Wall Ride. You're gonna want to take this clip that you import, drag it over a new composition. Pretty much just starts a new timeline with the settings you want to be used with the clip you're using. The short key for this to bust in the slow mo is Command Option T. I'll I'll just bring up the timer map. You can go over to Layer Time Enable Timer Map. Okay, so that is gonna give you the option to start adding your points and what I like to do is I tend to start the in point right as the tail is touching the ground either as it's touching or after I'm not really into the slow-mo starting you know pre-pop it just uh, I think it looks a little cleaner and I don't know just just what I've been doing to edit to music as well as I could and seems to give me the best flow. All right, so you want to add your first keyframe where the pop is or wherever you want your call. And I like to drag it until I see exactly where I want it to end. And I like it to end or begin regular motion as the wheels are just touching the ground. You know, again, it's personal preference. I guess there's a time and a place for, you know, all of the things you want to be doing. Uh, with slow motion, but this is what I tend to do just, you know, off the bat. So I'm going to add that other point right there. Right here, you're going to want to click on Graph Editor, and this is what allows you to drag the slow motion. And you're going to want to click Shift, hold down on Shift, pull out to the right, and that will slow it down as fast or as slow as you want it to go. Um, once you peak at this zero mark, it's pretty much just going to go to a you know, still frame. It's going to pause. It's going to be jittery. You're going to want to keep it as smooth as possible without overdoing it or underdoing it. This is probably going to be pretty slow, but I, you know, as far as the trick is concerned, I think it you know, does it justice, so we're going to try it. Um, so yeah, you, you are going to want to grab these points, and I like to make sure it clicks in right at, right at one second. All right, so that looks okay. We're going to take this other point, this is going to be the out, and you know, bend it how you want it to ramp. What I like to do is make the peak the focal point of where you want it to be slow mode. And that looks pretty good. Not bad. Not bad, John. You know, I, I, I love this clip so much. Let's, let's slow it down even more. You, know, you don't want that lag, you want it to look smooth. This is just, you know, I, re I really enjoy this clip as slow as possible without overdoing it. Yeah, I think that looks looks pretty decent. Oh, and that's that's me as a young child. Forgive me, I have sinned. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much, you know, that's the gist of it. It's, it's pretty simple, you know, you can, you can make it pretty complex. You can add, you know, another point if you want. Ramp that to speed it up in the middle. I mean, you can manipulate the clips however you want, but uh, for this clip, I keep it pretty, pretty OG. See, that looks a little jumpy. I think that was the playback on the computer, but you know that that adds a neat, a neat effect. Um, again, it's personal preference. I'm gonna Apple Z to undo that. Yeah, that's that's the that's the niceness right there. That is the good stuff. All right, and now we're gonna want to export this. You're gonna want to add it to your render queue. I'm gonna go up to composition, add to render queue. Here's the quick keys if you want to use that. I tend to use it when you're in the battle the battle zone trying to get these videos out. You know you want to know all the quick keys you can. So as far as 
the composition up here. Um, I don't touch any of this stuff. I think this is good to go. You're going to want to go down to time sampling, frame blending. You're going to want to click off for all layers. And again, we're using a VX1000. This is what I found to be the best options. Uh, field render is going to be lower field first. That's a VX, so you're going to want to use lower field first. Motion blur off. Off for motion blur. So that's all I change for the render settings. So you're going to want to click OK. Go down here to output module. Click on lossless. OK, and I don't want to touch anything besides format options and your audio down here. So format options, you're going to want to click on that. I use DV50 NTSC. That is going to be the best option for a VX. As far as I've found, again, you know, I've been messing with this stuff for a long time. And these are just my my opinions on the output of it. So you're going to want to click on DV50 NTSC. And then you're going to want to go OK. And then down here, I just bump it up to 32. It's going to be at 48. And stereo looks right. OK. You're going to want to come down here. You can name it whatever you want. I like to just keep it right here, and uh, it adds a .mov, and I just throw it in a slow-mo folder, and I separate them by, you know, individuals' names, and uh, yeah, I kind of just throw them into separate folders. That's what I do. I don't have time to click on this, change the name. I, I kind of just keep it all, all separate when I'm working on an individual part or, you know, whatever. Again, it's personal preference, but that's me. That's what I do. And I'm going to go to Render. And it's doing its thing. And that's the good boy. And you'll hear this noise. And that's what you want to hear for a finished product. Um, I hope I did a decent job at explaining this. I, I, you know, I'm new to tutorials. I want to start jumping into them a little bit. Um, I have a lot of people asking what we do and. I think it's good to share knowledge and, you know, everything I've learned is on the internet, uh, YouTube uh, videos. I was just, I was self-taught, so I found the internet to be very useful and I hope I can give back to what I've taken from YouTube a little bit, um, you know, a lot of free information. But yeah, again, that's, that's uh, how you do a ramp slow-mo in Adobe After Effects. Uh, thanks for watching, you know, please leave a comment, like it, subscribe. Uh, if there's anything you want to see in the future, leave a comment. You know, we read all of it and we, ex we expect the best of all of you to just give us what we want. Give us what we need. We want, we want opinions. We want advice. We want you to tell us what you like, you know? All right. Well, you know, thanks for tuning in again. My name is Buster and this is me. You can trust her. Okay. Thank you. And here's the final product. Let's uh, give it a watch to see how it looks. Oh, sh Oh, sh is right. Thank you, John, for that sweet varial heel flip wall ride. <laughs> hey, guys, this is Buster O'Shea here with Happy Medium. Uh, today I am going to teach you how to eat a hot dog in five seconds. I want you to watch and listen, okay? This is how we do it.